Hi, this is Sandy with Enamel It. I'm going to show you how to make this quick little pendant. It's a starfish charm, some rocks and shells on it, and it's actually mounted to a washer that I've drilled a hole into the back of it. It's really quick and easy. I've got my sifter, my Teflon sheet. I'm going to turn my hot plate on to between low and medium, about 350 degrees or so. I've got my grate and pickup comb. These are my components, my washer that I've drilled the hole in, some rocks, my charm, and then I've got two colors of blue, two colors of brown for the sand, the sky, the raspberry pink for my charm, and clear for the binding agent or the glue. I could do these in different layers, but we're just going to do this real quick and easy. First off, I'm just going to prepare my charm. I've got my wire cutter, side cutters. I don't want the loop on it, so I'm just going to cut that off. If you want, you can file this down. Make it look real pretty looking. And I'm going to put my Teflon sheet. That kind of keeps my grid from get or my hot plate from getting enamel it on it. Just a light tap. This is a transparent color so some of that antique -y stuff will come through. Get it up on the plate. All right, let's get a close-up of that so you can see how fast and easy that runs. So just a minute or two, not even. And there it goes. The resin is melting at this point, or epoxy. Only takes a second. Okay, well that is finishing. I'm going to go back here. This is all recyclable, so I'm going to take this. I put it on a piece of paper. When I sprinkled it, I'll just put it right back into the cup. Okay, let's get the washer going. Blow that out. And I'm just going to do a quick clean, just a dampened cloth to wash that. Let's start with some sand. Put my washer up here. In the meantime, because I'm using a Teflon sheet, I literally can just lift this up and I've got a little pie pan over here that I let it cool on. All right. Here we go. Put some sand on there. Nice even coat. Some darker sand just to give it a little character. Do some sky. And a little bit of dark blue to darken the sky or deepen it. A little darker on the top. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, Teflon sheet. My lifter comb, put it up there, and again, we'll give it just a minute or two. A full cure will bond the molecules together and make it pretty much a permanent attachment, permanent bond. A full um, bond will be 350 to 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. You can see if I move the camera, you can see that it's melting. The longer I leave it on there, the stronger the bond will become. But I'm not done with it yet, so it's not that crucial. All right. 
I can save all of this and do some marbling and stuff with it. Let's get this layering again. I just want to cool this off just a little bit. Set it over there. It won't take only by the time I get ready for it. Okay, here's our starfish and our rocks. And this is literally cool enough to touch already. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of clear. And what that clear does, as you can see, it is acts as a bonding agent, kind of like a glue. So I'm going to add that on there. A pair of tweezers just makes it a little easier to place things. So I'm going to grab my starfish and put him right on top, kind of cover that hole up. Got a great rock and another awesome shape shell piece. So if you're a beachcomber, save all your little tiny ones because it works great with this. Yeah, that's cute. And yeah, let's put this dark one right there. And then just a little bit more clear to secure these all down nice and tight. Up on the grid, the hot plate it goes. And this is the fun part. This is where you can really see it. bond. Now I can still move these at any time if I decided I don't want to see that hole at all. I can move it. There it goes. And again I would want to keep this on. The dimensional parts are going to take a little bit longer which is the charm and the shell the rock pieces to get that heat all the way through them. And sometimes what I'll do is I've got a uh, a lid that I can set on top to kind of heat, keep that heat in. There it is. Literally done. There is our piece. Transfer it over to my cooling plate. This has got a little more weight to it so I can use my spatula to transfer it. Let it cool, put on a jump ring, and it's ready to wear. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, enamel it at yahoo.com. Thanks.